I'm Terry Burke with Gray Tech Company. Uh, we're earth movers and uh, I do the estimating and the GPS modeling. We're doing a grade raise on Highway 41. The slough is growing up over the road. It's in danger of taking over the highway, so we're gonna, we're gonna raise the grade on it uh, and add some riprap uh, to, you know, and, and then pave it. We're uh, hauling dirt with scrapers and uh, retrieving rocks with the excavator, and we've gotta put traffic gravel on every night uh, in case it rains. We have a top con in our dozer and in our blade, and right now we're using our dozer pretty regularly every day. Uh, we uh, check the grade as we go through the job. We have six and a half feet of fill, so uh, he watches the grade. Plus, he's also watching our slopes, finishing our, trying to get our dirt out to our slopes and get our slopes finished and get them, get them started and get them finished. So. Uh, this is our fourth year, I believe, using GPS equipment, and um, I believe it's changed the way that uh, we move dirt. Uh, the goal is to move dirt once, uh, not twice, uh, and get paid for it the first time, and uh, the GPS helps us do that. It definitely saves my time as far as uh, production and as far as staking and that type of thing. The only stakes on this job are, are the ones the surveyors put out to help us establish control. We, we haven't set any stakes out. We don't need to because uh, all the information's in the equipment. We have a better idea of our quantities going in. We have a better idea uh, our cuts and fills and uh, we get the dirt put in the right place the first time. That's the key to moving dirt. Survey Rover, I've had a, a, had a experience with that. Uh, they came out and explained to me what uh, needed, how to operate it, and uh, uh, it didn't take me very long, and I caught on real fast. I didn't think that I would catch on that fast, but uh, it didn't take very long at all. We were doing a rail project, and we had center line within a few seconds, and we just kind of walked around and checked things out, and we were able to establish grade real quick, and uh, we knew exactly what was going on in the project in just a matter of a few minutes. We have about 10 crews out there right now, so. Um, I, I would say eight of them have GPS to some degree. Uh, a couple of those crews don't have the fully automatics. They just have the, uh, the ground systems, the data collector. And the goal would be to have 10 systems with uh, two, two Finnish machines uh, with automatics on them. I would just say, in summary, having this equipment on our jobs uh, helps us put the dirt in the right spot the first time. It, say, it, it makes us more efficient and uh, it, it pays for itself.